All right, John Boy back with us from Richmond, Virginia, yes, right? You can hear me now? Okay, yes. good. So the government yes, already agreed that block farmers should be receiving this settlement. The problem is actually allocating the money, and that's what so many farmers are waiting for right now. Last you and I spoke, which was a little over a month ago, you were going to be, you were hoping to meet with the President of the United States and hoping to meet with uh, leaders in Congress. Did any of those meetings ever happen? Yes, the meetings in Congress did happen with uh, Speaker Pelosi and Harry Reid, who was very helpful in trying to uh, put this measure together. But I still would like to sit down and talk to the president about this very, very important issue uh, for our nation's black farmers. And I think this would be a great time to begin uh, to start to have the discussion about race relations in this country. And I think this would be a perfect uh, uh, issue to begin to have that discussion on. And what, what would that discussion be like? Why, why do you feel it's necessary to have this discussion with the president? Do you feel at some point that he is um, unsympathetic to the cause and, and what it would mean for these farmers to get uh, a settlement? All right, it looks like we're having a problem uh, with his earpiece in order for uh, John to hear my question there. How about now? Have they worked it out for yes, you there? Yes, go ahead. Okay, good. Well, I'm wondering, microphone. why do you feel it's necessary in order to talk with the president? Why do you feel that uh, you need to persuade him or uh, allow him well, to I hear think, your point of view on this? Well, I think it's because we've been stuck in Congress for so very long on this very important issue. Uh, we've uh, been back and forth in the House, and I want to uh, reach out and thank the Congressional Black Caucus for making that measure pass in the House of Representatives. But we are still stuck in uh, Senate politics, and it looks like mm -hmm. it's very bipartisan politics with uh, uh, the Democrats uh, on one side of the fence trying to get something done, and the Republicans uh, focusing on midterm elections. And we just need the uh, president to focus in on this thing just a little while longer and ask that the black farmers get a vote on this very very important issue before the recess. So it's and, not uh, that you necessarily, a, it's not that, sorry to interrupt you, uh, John, it's not necessarily that you think the president is unsympathetic uh, to what the settlement might mean. Uh, oh, absolutely for, not. But it's that, yes, I want it. but it's that yes, you I feel that this measure, the settlement is being buried into other bills, other measures that are having a difficult time getting passed. Is that right? Absolutely. And this is, a, this is a very difficult time in Congress. And I want to go on record making sure that everybody understands that we support the president 110 percent. But we just feel that we need a little push in the Senate uh, to help get this done. And I think if uh, he reaches out to uh, both Republicans and Democrats and, and to make sure that the black farmers receive, receive justice before the recess. And I think that's yeah. very important here that we don't let uh, the Senate uh, go home without taking a very, very important vote for our nation's black farmers who have been waiting very, very patiently. And uh, we look at what has happened with the Department of Agriculture, where we have 80,000 black farmers who are, who are waiting to get their cases heard based on its merit. And uh, very few people who have been penalized for the act of discrimination at the Department of Agriculture. But we've seen to have rushed to judgment on, on this recent issue. So I'm hopeful that uh, uh, the Senate will take a very, very positive look at this issue and say now is the time to act to bring justice to 80,000 black farmers who have been waiting patiently. John Boyd, uh, founder of the National Black Farmers Association. I know this has to be very frustrating because I think you and I have spoken maybe three times over the past four to five months. And uh, at least the first time, I think the feeling was from your organization and many other black farmers that you were only weeks away from actually getting that settlement. And now I'm, we're I'm hopeful for it that the I'm hopeful that the next time we speak that I will have good news that uh, the Senate has voted and, and to pass this measure and we'll be on to the races as to bring in justice for our black farmers who have been waiting patiently. All right, we hope to follow up with you. Thanks so much, John Boyd. Appreciate Thank it you. from uh, 